okay guys what's up so this is continuations of the habit framework and uh, in this video we will see some more method which is required for the framework right so basically uh, basically we will see about how we can capture the screenshot automatically when we have a framework we need to have the screenshot capture mechanism right so before to start uh, this is brief uh, about me i come from a kindle background and i have a facebook page and youtube channel so you guys can subscribe my channel to have all the access to uh, all my videos now i will show you how we can design a method the method which will capture the screenshot on the runtime based on the configurations so i will make one method public void get a screenshot so this method will be responsible to capture the screenshot and uh, here we will supply the image name right so based on the image name we will store the screenshot and this is our uh, framework right so as we need to understand this driver class the driver object whatever we make the object of driver driver has no capability to capture the screenshot so what we need to do is we need to cast the driver with take a screenshot interface right so we need to cast with the take a screenshot interface and then uh, close this and then we can call a method called get a screenshot as so this get a screenshot as we can supply the output type so output type dot dot file type because we want a screenshot in the terms of file so i'm giving a file type now uh, we can store this file into a variable saying that let's say image is equal to right just place mouse over here click on create local variable this will give you a type file after that we need to store this captured image to the location right so i want to store it here right so what i will do i'll make one location uh, location saying that let's say a string i will write image location like where do we want to store this so again we will write system dot get property user dot dir and then we can write plus in double bracket we can take the locations of this a folder so from src we can take the location and we can paste it here so this is the locations where we want to store the screenshot and do not forget to write slash at the end right because after that we want to place it now with what name we want to place it right so here we will write again a string image so we will write some name here uh, image name we have already right this is the name of the image but like this is the name we are going to store but what i mean it is when i will store to a screenshot folder i want to you know store with the time format so that for me it is easy to identify right so for that what we will do is uh, we will make uh instance of calendar class calendar dot get instance right so we will make the instance of calendar class and then uh just place mouse over here click on create local variable and then what i'll do is i'll write here uh we will create the object of simple date formatter so i'll write new simple date formatter simple date format right so like what is the format we want to use so let's say when we want to store the image with what name we want to store right so that also we will see that so we will see that with what name we want to store right so let's say we want to store 
in the terms of ddmmyy so this format we want to store so let me copy this because i have this code ready i can just paste it here so this is the format right with this format we want to store in fact i can copy this variable name also from here itself right so this is the formatter we have after that what is the actual image name so let's say actual image name so when we store the image what is the image name is going to be so it is going to be your locations the locations where we want to store plus image name the name of the image plus plus so i'm just putting with the underscore plus we can write here formatter dot format right so we can go for format so formatter dot format and here we can get the current time so how do we get a current time we can get calendar dot get time it will give you the current time right so through formatter basically whatever current time uh, we will get it here right we are going to format with the with this formatter in the ddmm yy format and then we will do plus and we will write dot png so this is the file name which we are going to use like this is the actual file name after that in java we have something called file utils file utils dot uh, we will go for file utils yeah so file utils sorry let me remove this dot or we'll go for this method whatever i have used here file yeah i mean file utils that copy file same thing i'm using it here so i'll go for the same thing so i'll go for file utils dot why it is coming as a get instance it should not come i think i have imported the wrong uh, class here so let me remove this come back come back to our class and here we are going to use file utils dot copy file right file utils dot copy file and this requires you know source file plus destination file so the source file which is nothing but this image and what is the destination file so uh, we need to place into a destination file right to do that you know what we have to do first we need to convert this string into a file so what we will do is uh, we can convert saying that we can make one object here file destination is equal to new and we uh, make the object of the file and here we can supply uh, image name so what will happen is this will get converted to a file place mouse over here add through declarations because you know this will let's say if the file is uh let's say while copying the file is not present right we'll get exceptions so we'll get input output exceptions right so this guy uh, basically will copy the file to the locations right now let's say yeah this is responsible for the capturing the screenshot and placing the file to this folder so that's how we should design a method for capture the screenshot now sometimes few people they don't want to supply the file name while calling this method if you don't want to supply so let's say if dot equals to blank sometimes you are not supplying any name so what we will do internally we can write some name underscore blank our just a blank why because uh, why this will be helpful because any which we are appending with our ddmmyy format right so it will be just blank underscore something like it's like somebody would not have supplied and this ddmmyy format will help us to know like on which date the screenshot was captured so that's how we should write a method to capture the a screenshot so thank you guys thank you for watching this this method we cannot test now why because for that we need to have the selenium code ready so then only we can test that so we'll test in the coming video so thank you guys thank you for watching this please like the video and subscribe my channel thank you once again